Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kodash. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kodash, Braka Thumb, to the elect of Israel that's scattered across the four corners of the globe. So today's date is um, June 26th, 2019, the year of Karagma, as coined by Apostle Dahar of Great Millstone through the Holy Spirit. And that's pursuant to the book of Revelation 13 and 16, right? The mark of the beast, which is the implantable microchip. But that's neither here or there for now. Um, the article that we're looking at here is from www.news1.com, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Lord willing, if I remember, I'll leave the link to this article in the description box once I upload this video, Lord willing. And um, as you can see, you know, we've got an article here concerning Esau Edom. Now, for those of you out there that don't know who Esau Edom is, you know, when we speak about Esau Edom, we're referring to the so-called white man and the so-called white woman and their wicked children, their wicked offspring, the Edomites, which are you so-called white people. And here we have another article, which is one of the reasons why we call you the devil, which the word um, devil basically means to be uh, a deceiver, more so uh, an accuser, all right? Because you so-called white people like to accuse our so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans who are the Israelites. But here it is, you know, you get away with your wickedness and no one, you know, judges you for it. But now we're living in a time, a day and age where the wickedness of your people is being revealed at an all-time high through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash now Shai. All right. Now it says white woman accused of pretending to be a doctor in Africa is sued after 100 babies die. All right, this is what's going on in the world. You've got so-called white people who are the Edomites that are pretending to be doctors around the world that are killing off babies, okay? This is what's happening, and this is another reason why you so-called white people are going to be destroyed, Obadiah verse 18. And this is why the Lord said this through the mouth of um, Jeremiah. Let's get um, Lamentations real quick. And uh, I guess we'll start at the 21st verse. This is Lamentations 4 verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Rejoice, why? Because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who you eagerly call God, has given you this wealth, right? As it says in the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, the wicked being Edom, right? Esau, Edom, pursuant to the book of Malachi 1, verse 4. So that's why you should be rejoicing right now, because you're ruling, right? It says, O daughter of Edom, and the name Edom, going back to the Hebrew word Adawam, which is red, and, you know, that's a nomen omen because really you're not white, all right? There's no such thing as a white man or a white woman. What it is is that your Edomites and your blood, right, your blood shows forth through your translucent skin, which that in itself is the curse of leprosy, which is a curse that goes all the way back to your forefather, Cain. What's that? Genesis, the fourth chapter. You know, you read about um, Cain and Abel. Well, your forefather was Cain and he was cursed with the mark of leprosy, right? That's the token, that's the sign that, um, you know, that's the, well, that's the curse, rather. That's the curse that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, put on your forefather, King, okay? He basically stripped him of his pigmentation. And that's why you don't have no pigment today. That's why you call yourself so-called white people. That's why you call yourself Caucasians. That's why you call yourself Europeans, because you're trying to get away from a true biblical nationality, which is Edomites, the children of Cain, the children of Esau, Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz, now, Uz was uh, a city out there in Edom, okay, one of your strongholds in your ancient land, right? Now, your modern-day stronghold in this world would be America, right? So, this is speaking about America. It says, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Now, what's this cup speaking about? This cup is speaking about the cup of slavery, torment, treachery, and destruction, right? Pursuant to the book of Jeremiah 49, verse 12. It says, the cup also shall pass through unto thee, thou shalt be drunken, Drunken meaning what? You shall be intoxicated with your wickedness. And we're living at a time where, you know, wickedness is at an all-time high. I.e. homosexuality. I.e. transgenderism. I.e. pedophilia. Just to name a few. It says, and shall make thyself naked. Meaning what? We're living in a time where you Edomites should be ashamed of yourselves. And why is that? For articles like what we're reading here. White woman accused of pretending to be a doctor in Africa 
get sued after 100 babies die, all right? And you're being exposed, i.e., this is why you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of your wickedness that you're committing here on earth. Verse 22, it says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, Zion representing our so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the children of Israel, the sons and daughters of Israel. It says, He will no more carry thee away into captivity. And that's a part of the gospel. That's a part of the good news that we're never going to go back into captivity. We're never going to go on cargo slave ships again. We're never going to have our land stolen from us again. All right. Our so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, i.e. the land of America, which was stolen by the Edomites, i.e. the land of Israel today, which was stolen by the Edomites. It says he will no more carry thee into captivity. Yahweh Bashmah Shai is never going to put his spirit on any nation to bring us into captivity ever again. Okay, those days are over. It says, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Edom being you so-called white people. He will discover thy sins. And that's what Yahweh Bashmah Shai is doing right now as we speak through his men, through his prophets. Okay, begin with the apostles and the elders and the men of great millstone and like-minded men. So let's go back to this article and read. Now it says, Rene Bark is a U.S. missionary with no medical training. Who left Virginia in 2007 and went to Uganda. Now this is why it says this here. When we go to the book of Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 5. Well I'll start at verse 4. It says behold his soul which is your spirit. You know the spirit of these Edomites. Which is lifted up. Meaning what you're proud people. Thinking that no one's going to take you down. Thinking that this place that you call America is not going to be destroyed. Thinking that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, is not going to repay you for what you've done unto the Israelites. Bringing us into captivity. Putting a yoke of iron around our necks. Enslaving our people. Castrating our people. Raping our women. Destroying the minds of our people. Right, in your educational system. In your so-called religious system. Right, in these churches. That's why it says what it says in the book of Hosea 4 verse 6. My people, which are the Israelites, are so-called blacks. Latinos and Native Americans are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you don't want to tell our people the truth. But guess what? We're living in a time where the truth is springing forth, man. Right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmah was shy. You see, right now, the attitude of you Edomites is pretty much this. You know, let bygones be bygones. That was all in the past. That was my forefathers. I didn't do it. Blah, 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 blah. But let's see how Yahweh Bashmah was shy feels about what you've done unto the Israelites, our so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. This is Nahum chapter 1 verse 3. It says, the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, is slow to anger. As it says in the book of, um, what's that, Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11. Uh, roughly paraphrasing, it says, um, because uh, sentence, well, let me get that real quick. Pardon me, I don't want to, you know, mess that scripture up. The Spirit is feeding me with various different scriptures here. So this is Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work, and I'll give you a few examples of, you know, Esau's evil work, right? His murder, his theft, and his rape. So take, for instance, what these Edomites, you so-called white people, done during the years of 1492, right? When you sailed over here to the Americas and stole the land, the land of America or the Americas in general, from the Israelites, the northern kingdom at that, so-called Latinos, right? So-called Mexicans, so-called Seminole Indians, so-called Puerto Ricans, so-called North American Indians, man. Let's take, for instance, the year of 1620, when you uh, gathered up Israelites from the west coast of Africa, Places like what you call today Nigeria, Ghana, Benin, Togo, Sierra Leone, right? When you gathered Israelites and put them on cargo slave ships, put a yoke of iron around their neck, you know, made them sell over to the Americas on cargo slave ships, and then you forced them to hardcore labor here in America, man. This is that evil work. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, because you haven't been judged yet by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and us Israelites, okay? Therefore, the heart, meaning the mind, of the sons of men, in this case, the Edomites, is fully set in them to do evil. Now let's go back to Nahum. This is Nahum 1 verse 3. The Lord, whose name is Yahweh, is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 verse 4. So here we're reading how Yahweh Bashmah Shai is not going to let you Edomites off the hook. Let's go back to Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk 2 verse 4. Behold, his soul, the spirit of these Edomites, which is lifted up, proud, 
is not upright in him. They're an unrighteous people. But the just, the just meaning righteous, and who's the righteous? Who's the righteous seed? Who's the righteous nation? The Israelites, okay? And in this particular case, speaking about the elect, but the just shall live by his faith. Faith being our belief in Yahweh Hebrews 11 verse 1. Habakkuk 2 verse 5. And here's the point concerning the, the article. It says, yeah, also because he, the Edomites, so-called white people, transgressive by wine, which is their philosophies, their democracy, so-called human rights. He is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. This is why when we go to this article, it says this. Rene Bark, which is an Edomite, is a U.S. missionary with no medical training who left Virginia, America, in 2007 and went to Uganda, which is out there in Africa. Which, you know, out there in Uganda, you don't have Israelites. You've got Hamitic people, right? You've got Hamites. You might have, you know, Israelites scattered among these people, but these Ugandans are Hamites, so we don't give a shit about these people. But nevertheless, we're making a case here, right? Let me read it again. Rene Bark is a U.S. missionary in Edomite, with no medical training, who left Virginia, which is in America, in 2007 and went to Uganda, Africa. Now, what does it say here? Yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Where's their home? The land of Uz. Modern day Uz, North America. They don't keep at home, man. It says, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. <laughs> and is as death. What are we reading about here? It says, white woman accused of pretending to be a doctor in Africa is sued after 100 babies die. Is as deaf. These Edomites are as deaf. They are deaf. They represent deaf. They embody deaf. That's what they're all about, man. That's why Yahweh Bashmah Shai, like I said, Obadiah verse 18 is going to be fulfilled, man. So this is Habakkuk 2 verse 5 again. Yeah, also because he transgressive by wine, meaning he sins by his democracy, his so-called democracy. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. And that's what he's done over here, mainly in America, which is Babylon the Great. Okay, the word Babylon goes back to the Hebrew word Baba, which means confusion. And that's what America is. It's a cesspool of confusion, mainly the confusion of the various different nations that dwell here in America. Okay. It says, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. And how is he going to do that in these last days? Well, by way of his implantable microchip, the mark of the beast. Revelation 13 verse 16. Right? But we've proved the point here. The point that we want to focus on here is where it says, um, he is as deaf, neither keepeth at home. Okay? So right now you've got, you know, an Edomite woman, you know, that's being sued for killing 100 babies out there in Africa, out there in the land of Ham. Amongst these uh, Ugandans. So reading on. It says. By 2012. She founded a private NGO. And healthcare facility. Called Serving His Children. She allegedly. Led people to believe. She was a doctor. And 100 babies. Reportedly died. Around her fraudulent care. <laughs> like I said. Lower. And I'll leave the link of this article. In a description box. But we'll close it out with this. Um, last scripture from the book of. Where do I want to go to now? Um, let me think. Job. That's it. Job uh, 13 and verse 4. It says, But ye are forgers of lies. You spread lies. You spread deceit. It says, Ye are all physicians of no value. And when you go into this word physicians, it basically means a healer, right? Which that's where you get the name Raphael from, which goes back to the Hebrew name Rapa, which means to heal. Okay? And these Edomites, they don't heal. They bring death, okay, literally. They literally bring death and their so-called medicines don't help neither, okay? Their so-called medical system is trash. So that's pretty much where I'm going to end this lesson. Lowly brothers out there, we're edified. All praises, honours and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honours to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, the men that taught me the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash, Baka, Thumb, to the elect of Israel. Shalom.